Hey guys, Chris from CND Duct Tape here, here to show you part two of the iPod 5 case. So, right now I didn't do anything. Uh, I just uploaded my video. It's actually still uploading at the moment. Um, I have it all trimmed out, I believe. I have it all trimmed out. Um, nope. Still have to trim it a little bit, but, uh, I was talking about, uh, how my computer was still being very, uh, unusual on me. I am not 100% sure if it's fixed. I didn't really test it out yet, but, um, we'll see. So, pretty much, I just finished trimming it. So what you want to do next, uh, you can use a different color if you want. Uh, I have lots of light blue here, so I'm probably going to use that. We don't have much gray left. I mean, you can get gray at Home Depot. This thick of a roll for, like, three bucks. So it's very inexpensive, and uh, it's really useful. It's not a duct tape brand, duct tape, but um, uh, I'm not sure what the brand is, actually, but it's very useful. Uh, I've used that maybe three, four rolls of duct tape out of there. I mean, it's pretty thick. You can get a lot out of it. it lasts a while. So, uh, anyway, next what you want to do with your case is take some more rolls of duct tape. This time you're going to want to go across instead of up and down. So, what you're going to want to do is go... Uh, five inches of duct tape. Now this is the width of it. So just bear with me here. Again, a little bit of an overkill, I know, but um, we are gonna have to trim it. So pretty much what you're going to want to do here is take the edge of your duct tape and place it exactly on the edge of your case. Now this is going to be the back, so we want to make sure we don't make it too thick, because we are going to have to cut into it. Once we cut into it, we can start making it thicker with packaging tape, and then call it good. So you can see you have this little extra. You just want to wrap it up on top, and you can see you have your first strip done. So next what you're going to want to do is make two more of those five inch strips and do the same thing. Now I am going to be going through these videos a little faster because, um, well, I realize that's taking up a lot of time. I mean, usually I just take up half the time that I have on here just talking. So. We're going to get right to the project, and I can talk about what I've done during the project. So same thing, just wrap it around, hold it up so you get that nice little edge on it. So, almost done. So, you want to make sure that it's perfectly aligned because you want the iPod case to fit perfectly around your iPod. You don't want it to be too big, too small, you know, any of those variables because if you do, well, let's just say your iPod case either isn't going to fit your iPod or isn't going to be snug around your iPod because one of those is true, then it's going to be kind of a pain to fix it when it's all done, unless you redo it all. So next, what you want to do is cut um, two more 5-inch strips, and uh, don't put them on yet, because we are going to be cutting these in half, or well, tearing them in half, not quite cutting. So you want to take your longest strip. If you uh, got them perfectly, that's good. Just take one of them, but whatever longer strip you got, you want to take it. Just make a small little slit where you think the middle would be with your X-Acto knife and make sure it does cut through. You can see here that it's cut. And you just want to tear it right in half, just like that. Uh, it is a little 
uh, has kind of a weird effect, but um, that's why we have a second piece, so it can cover over. So you want to flip your iPod case over, put the uh, crappy side, or whatever, whatever the middle was, and put that on the inside of your case. You can see I have a little bit hanging over, so you can just fold that in and make sure it's uh it's on. You gotta do that with do that exact step with the other side. Now again we are gonna be doing trimming so after this five inch strip actually what um after this five inch strip we can start cutting out the holes. Uh if you want to you can cut out the holes early and um you can uh, actually once you cut the holes out early, it'll be easier to find what kind of um, holes you're looking for, so you can get all the features out of your iPod in the case. So, cut another 5-inch strip. This is just to go over the other side, just in case that part looks crappy too. So you can see I put a strip right there, so I need to put one right in the middle here. So you don't see that ripped kind of texture. All right, so we got that down. Now it's time for the trimming again. Now, if you don't like trimming, you're not really a take your time person. Uh, you can just rush through it, and when you do rush through it, be careful of what you do because every variable that you change can change the way your iPod case will work. So say you. Uh, forget to put packaging paper on it. That will make the iPod case uh, look dirty. There will get dirt under the seams, and uh, it'll make it look old and not very uh, well, not very quality, so to speak. So let's trim this. So if you did this right, you shouldn't need to trim any off the sides. If you did something wrong, go back. Uh, you can take off all the tape you just put on. If you want, that's what I do, recommended. But, uh, I mean, if you don't like to do that, that's completely fine. You can do a new one if you want. You can just kind of work with what you get. But uh, if you have to trim off the sides, so just put another strip on the sides to give it kind of that finished look. Just in case. So... You can see it's not fully cut through because it is very thick, so you just want to make sure that you cut it along the line. Alright, so that's in. So you see it's trimmed, but uh, this here looks kind of uneven. So this is where you are going to want to trim the sides, but that is okay, because trimming the sides, well, you learn from it. Live, you learn, you do whatever. Smoke weed, smoke pot, do whatever you want. But Alright, so trim this. Alright, so you are trimming the sides, just want to make sure that your cuts are inside of a 90 degree angle. So, looks like it is even, but uh, there's just a little bump here that's indented. As you can see, just a little indented right here. So, what we can do there is just put some extra tape over it so it gives it a, a thin look. So once we get done with this, now we want to work on the holes. So. This is where your piece of paper comes in. You want to put this over top to see if it will fit, which mine will. So we want to just kind of guess on where the camera and everything else will be. So take your iPod or paper next to you. And uh, pretty much I'm just going to do a light cutout first. And then do the deep cuts after. Just do it square right now. So it looks like it's barely more. Now you want to cut out a little more than you need, so it's not so it's not a perfect cut because if it is, then you're not going to get the whole effects. All right. 
so end the video here. I'll cut this out, cut out all the holes, and uh, make part three.